let you take that jump and you don't fear the fall Hope when the water rises you build a wall Hope when the crowd screams out is screaming your name Hope if everybody runs you choose to stay I hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad The only way you can know is that all you have I hope that you don't suffer and take the pain Hope when the moment comes, you'll say I, I did it This world could give I saw so many places the things that I did And with every broken bone I swear I lived Hope that you spend your days But they all add up And when that sun goes down Hope you raise your cup I wish that I could witness all your joy and all your pain Until my moment comes, I'll say I, I did it all Second that this world could give So so many places The things that I did With every broken bone I swear I lived Whoa. Every second that this world could give So, so many places, the things that I did With every broken bone, I swear I I, I did it the musical was a very challenging experience for me, especially since, um, as Reverend Moore, I was really the one character that had the dramatic shift towards the end, going from, no, they're not allowed to dance, and I'm carrying, you know, the weight of having, you know, lost my own son in, you know, the accident that caused the law to uh, go in place, um, and then becoming the person that allows this to happen, that goes, I think this would be a great idea, and trying to lead a community into a better future was really the most challenging part of it. Being a part of Footloose was great because this is my last uh, musical in high school. I started my freshman year with Beauty and the Beast and I've done all of the ones 
leading up to now Footloose, and it's a bittersweet moment graduating and moving on to bigger and better things, but also not being a part of it anymore. Being able to go on stage and be someone completely different and that's not you, it's something very surreal and having to embody that character, getting that mindset that's not you, it's hard but it's also challenging and a lot of fun. I'm talking hours upon hours of rehearsal, day after day, uh, five days a week. Um, it's a lot of work and a lot of effort to put in. We started out with our rehearsals in the black box and then we moved into the PAC and we had to adjust to them moving on and off the sets and just working around there. And the whole experience with the cast and crew was just really amazing. I liked being comedic relief. Like, I know that I'm not necessarily, like, the funniest person, but, like, the fact that I was able to say things and get laughs, like, that was so great. <laughs> I really liked Cameron as Ren. He did an awesome job. He brought so much energy to it. Like, during his solo song, I Can't Stand Still, I told him, each time you do that, I'm reminded that this is Footloose, because he does it, so I just have so much fun backstage. We all do the dance moves with him backstage. I called the doctor, he said, son, I cannot offer you a pill. So I never found relief, and now I've got to move until I've had my fill. I can't stand still. Well, here we walk. Probably the scene that sticks out to me the most is the one where I sing a song, where I'm, I don't really sing it, it's more like a rap. So that's probably the scene that sticks out to me as far as the one that I'm in. I think Wesley, the guy who played Reverend Moore, did an amazing job. Um, every night watching him, I learned something new based on the way that he played that character. And you have all the answers, don't no, you? No, I don't. I'm just... And you're going to set me straight. I didn't say that. I don't just... presume what I have been through. You don't have a clue. Now, good night, Mr. McCormick. Please, if I could just say one Mr. more thing. Mr. McCormick, I would like to be alone. Sir, you already are. The thing I'm going to look back on from this production, I think, is how is how much I've grown uh, as an actress because I was this little shy person in freshman year, but now I, I, I realize how much I've become my own person with the year. Being a senior um, and going into this, I was thinking that this would be my last production and um, because of this musical, I think that I might actually continue theater in college. Like I was really sad that I was gonna have to say goodbye to this experience and I just, I don't think that I can do that after this musical, it was, it was that awesome. I've met some of the most amazing people, uh, some of my closest friends, made some of the best memories over the past four months and the past four years. Getting to see everyone grow over that time and seeing myself grow as an actor, as a performer, and as a person, and everyone else, it's something unlike anything else. Really the thing I'm going to miss the most, you know, down the road is probably the sense of community. Um, we're just a fairly tight-knit group of people that, you know, no matter what happens, you know, you pick someone else up, move forward, you know, they'll drag you along too, right? It's like whatever, you know, no matter what day you're going through, it's always a pleasure for them to be around because it's just any day becomes brighter. It has not been what I expected. It's been way better. Um, I knew that I was gonna get a few great girls that were gonna be good leaders. I kinda knew that coming in there. I knew I had a great support system. I didn't know how many girls we were gonna get and the heart that those girls had. Uh, so that exceeded my expectations. My girls, they don't have fear. Uh, they might get anxious, maybe a little nervous. I mean, it's wrestling. Uh, it's a pretty intense sport, but they're so fearless and they've gotten to the point where they're having fun 
And a lot of times for new wrestlers, that's really hard to develop, just having fun with it, um, especially at a state tournament when there's high stakes. So I think just seeing their smiles and reflecting, I know that they're reflecting on all the work they've done uh, when they're standing up there. So I'm just really proud that they get to see it because I see how hard they work every day. And so I think as a coach, you want your athletes to see that too. Uh, you don't want to see them work hard every day and then not be successful. So that was really amazing. Well, we did really good. We had six placers, four won it. So that was really good. That was way more than everybody else. Definitely proud of my team. I mean, to have 60% of your team up on the podium, I think that is absolutely amazing for a first year team. But everybody has just improved like so much. Even the girls that have been wrestling for a while. I always dream about like winning state or something like that. But to actually have it happen was amazing. I thought it was like unreal. Like I was like, this is so weird. Like, if you would have asked me a year ago, or told me a year ago that I was going to be standing on the podium at a girls wrestling state, I'd be like, no, you're crazy. <laughs> I think those four girls represent the culture we're starting. We have two girls who are ranked nationally. They were very successful. They had a great showing. The other two girls, they're broken arrow wrestlers. One, she had absolutely no mad experience. One had very little. So that shows what we're building here. Um, it's a great place for more seasoned wrestlers to thrive and build on their skills but it's also a place to create a good wrestler too. Those four girls, they represent Broken Arrow Wrestling. What it is, what it can be, what it's going to be, and we're uh, setting the culture, we're setting the standard, and all four girls played a huge part in that. Coach Jasperson puts in a lot of time and effort into us, and she, she believes in us to our full potential. Every day she practices with us. If not, she's on the mat with us, working with us somehow. It's the more you're around wrestling, the more familiar you get with it, and the better you become. And it's just putting in those after hours that really helps. Wrestling in Oklahoma for girls is going to explode. I mean, there's no limit to what can happen. And I think that state tournament showed people they had to actually see what's going on. But when you're actually live in person, seeing girls go to battle and seeing the quality of the matches, the energy was unlike any other state tournament I've ever seen. I mean, I think that's one of the things that my girls love. They just thrived off of that energy and uh, it was really, really neat. I'm looking forward to just growing in our skill set. Um, we pretty much got on the mat right away and we started from square one. My girls are hungry, you know, they're happy but they're not satisfied, nor am I. So I think um, our program's gonna see a lot of growth and we're just gonna keep rolling with it. I mean, there's no reason when you have something good to slow down. I just really wanna go out there and wrestle and I mean, I mean, tussle with somebody because like you don't get to do that in any other sport. I'm just looking forward to more girls joining and more girls falling in love with the sport. Just go for it. You never know. I didn't think I would like it, but I'm a state champion now, so you never know how far it take you. Thank you for attending the commencement ceremony for the Broken Arrow High School Class of 2020. Broken Arrow Public Schools strongly encourages guests to maintain a physical distance of six feet from others outside of your family if possible. Face coverings can be worn at your discretion. Please wash your hands often 
and use the provided hand sanitizer that can be found throughout the stadium. We appreciate your help in keeping everyone safe. And the big news for this week is senior superlatives. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this video is going to be pretty good. Oh yeah, I got my pass in here somewhere. Oh my gosh, best hugger. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> Sneakerhead, I can care less. Someone just stepped on my J's in the hallway. Hey, I'm Hannah. This, this is, is my best friend, friend Hannah. Hannah. And sometimes we finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. It's, it's a, a Hannah, Hannah thing. thing. Wait, that sneeze? How do people vote me for that? Okay. Um, am I good? Yeah. All right. ROTC program at Broken Arrow, it uh, goes from the 9th grade to the 12th grade. It's a leadership development class that focuses on um, introduction to the military, wear the uniform, uh, community service, and uh, leadership activities for the students. I joined ROTC because it seemed like something that would be fun and interesting. I felt like it could make me a better and more respectful person and more disciplined. I would really like to join the military, so this program I felt like would help guide me in that direction. So going into uh, JROTC, I've always wanted to be a leader. It's always been like a big thing of mine besides the military. And so any chance I got to be a leader, I took it. Now we have a lot of activities for students to do, such as rocketry, um, aviation we're starting up next year, which is, which is remote controlled airplanes. Um, and just uh, building models. Uh, we have marksmanship now. We have marksmanship team who shoot regularly. We have a drill competition team, uh, color guard that works, that, that does the different football games. Drill is we have a group of cadets that are interested in marching and I am the drill commander so I teach them exactly how to make their movements look nice and clean. So JROTC is cadet run. And cadet run means that our entire Corps staff consists of cadets. Rocketry, for example, I had a cadet come up and say, hey, we want to do rocketry. And I said, okay, well, we'll do it. We there, you know, they come up with the ideas, they run the program. Um, they're responsible for making things happen. So it's, you know, it's really about leadership for them and the opportunity to step forward. If people that are wanting to join ROTC, I tell them, stick your feet in the water. And then if you still, if you stick your feet in the water and you like it, go with it, run with it. The more you get involved in, um, the more that you do in ROTC, the more it's going to advance you, the more it's going to propel you. It's kind of just made me a better person in general, and it's given me something to look forward to in the future. So today is a very exciting day uh, at Broken Air Athletics because we get to celebrate uh, a huge milestone and accomplishment for about 40 of our student athletes that are seniors and it's a chance to celebrate with their families, their teachers, their principals, their coaches. Um, they've worked extremely hard for a day like today 
and so to carve out some time is, is very worth our while. We're excited about National Signing Day, what it means for families, and, and it can change a generation of a family. Um, but we're also excited about our coaches, um, our teachers, our principals, all of our administration that pour so much effort and time into these kiddos to make sure that they're ready for an opportunity when it comes. Uh, it's honestly a blessing and I just thank God and uh, everybody who's uh, been on the journey with me and I can't wait to get to Seminole State and play for Coach Matt. I'm so excited for like just growing as a person, maybe not even a softball player, but just as a person and like taking that next step to my life and I'm just really excited about it. It means everything just because I know that my parents don't have to pay anything out of pocket so I'm going to play the game I love and it's free so I mean, it's a win-win. You're standing on the shoulders also of a lot of giants that came before you, student athletes that have represented Broken Arrow in such an amazing way. So keep that in mind, that you're one of those giants, that you get to represent Broken Arrow. So take that responsibility very, very seriously. Athletics, education are gonna be paramount to your successes as you go in your lifetime. Do not forget where you came from. Do not lose sight to where you're going. Strive for excellence in everything you do, and remember to be good young people in all phases of your life. But what it's all about is using this opportunity to build a life and to serve this world and make it a better place. So we, we appreciate you letting us come alongside you, and please know that this is always your home. You can always come back here, and that we're always going to be in your corner. Well, we were in choir and we were, I think we had either just gone there or we were about to leave, I don't remember, but he just basically just flat out told us right then and there that we were going to sing with Kristen and Sandy and I was just like, no, he's kidding. <laughs> we had two weeks to prepare for this concert. It was really crazy and kind of stressful and we all knew that we were going to get to perform with amazing, amazing superstars. I told the kids, this being that special time of year, it's really important that we consider why people are coming to the concert and to perform in a, in a manner that helps share the holiday spirit and communicate a message of love and of peace. You know, I, I think it communicated because when they were rehearsing, they rehearsed, you know, excitedly and when they got to see Sandy and Kristen, it, it all kind of made sense for them. I thought that we were just going to walk in and rehearse by ourselves, and we walk in and Kristen was rehearsing her own solo song, and so we got to watch her sing a couple, and then Sandy comes and she sang a couple, and they sang some together, and I was just sitting in the audience like... I thought that we were going to be up in risers behind Kristen, but no, we were literally like two feet away from her, but she came up to me during the first song and she was like singing to me, looking me in the eyes, and then she realized we were the exact same height and she went. <laughs> While we were singing, first of all, I was having a really hard time focusing because I was like, I am really singing with Kristen Dinner with Sandy Patty right now. <laughs> but whenever we finished, the audience just like stood up and they were all clapping and crying and stuff and I had never had an audience that loud clapping before. I was just trying to soak in every single moment, you know, because I really am so thankful for everything that choir has given me. Like I've gotten to travel to places I've never been before and now I've gotten to sing with these superstars and Grammy, Tony, Dove winners. It's just, I mean, it's just so crazy. I'm just so thankful. My favorite song was How Great Thou Art and it was just the final moment after we had just finished singing and the whole audience like stood up and they were crying. I got overwhelmed and I started crying as soon as I got off stage and I had to call my grandpa because that was my Mamie's song and it just really like it touched my heart and I just that performance was for her. It was when they came off the stage and they had tears in their eyes and they were feeling the moment and that felt good because that's what we, that's what we try to get to um, with what we do is there's an emotional connection to what we do and a, a human connection and it worked that night. That was pretty cool. I'm not even sure why I really like One Most Talkative. I mean, my teachers say that I don't shut up, my parents say I don't shut up, my siblings say I don't shut up. Pretty much everyone around me says that but 
I don't know, and I get a lot of detentions for it, and I actually had a detention this morning because I wouldn't shut up. But speaking of, I had a really bomb breakfast burrito this morning. There was like sausage, bacon. Oh my gosh, I won best eyes? Clumsy is. I'm not even clumsy. Hold on, I gotta text. <laughs> truck I have a Sonoma it's like the smallest one you can get best photographer I mean I like to take pictures but I don't know if they're that good most of the time they're of my dog do you want to see them What we do with the Broken Air Pride is about providing incredible experiences for, for our students. And that means that those decisions about where we travel and where we head changes from year to year so that we provide you know, a, a broader um, landscape of where we head. And so it was important for us this year to, uh, to take a departure from Grand Nationals but to put a new experience in there in its place. And that's where um, the Orlando Bands of America Regional fit that bill real perfectly. Going to Orlando for the first time was great because it was the first experience for all of us. As the season went on and we, we did so well, we just kind of, we embraced the role and we're like, this is who we are, like, let's make it the best we can be. Really 2018, uh, we were kind of more like abstract in our ideas and stuff like that, but with last year's show, obviously about America, and this year more of a Western, we were able to really like connect with, um, obviously like the Oklahoma crowd, as well as the crowds at Nationals last year. Well, with our program coordinator, Wes Cartwright, he and I sat together and talked about some ideas. What haven't we done before? We talked about, uh, and you know, maybe this is a chance to explore kind of the, uh, the culture of Oklahoma and to do a Western show that is unlike any of our competitors have done um, and to put a, a uniquely Broken Arrow spin on doing a Western motif show. It ended up being one of the most amazing shows I've been in. I've done it for four years now and of all the shows we've done, this has definitely been one of the most entertaining. What made this year different was for sure the interactions we had with everyone and the fun we had with the show. We had a lot more freedom to be expressive in ourselves this year, so having fun was definitely the biggest thing for me at least. You think about our seniors, um, they've had a pretty wide variety of experiences from uh, performing as freshmen in the Tournament of Roses Parade in California, uh, to two trips to Grand Nationals and to, to Florida. So they've seen and got to experience a lot along the way. And that experience is really important for our younger members to, you know, to, to have those, those role models, uh, those leaders that establish our culture and carry our brand from year to year and, uh, and help carry on that, that legacy and, and heritage uh, of the Broken Air Band. It's definitely just sort of like a standard of being the best that you can and kind of like being part of something that's obviously bigger than yourself, like having 300-ish other people rely on you to perform to the best of your ability so that you all can come together to create something that is really special and connects with the audience. I joined yearbook in order to get more involved in school. I joined junior year and right off the bat it pushed me into the student body a lot more than I had been involved in it sophomore year. We truly try to immerse ourselves in like what, what's going on in campus and so we really just show up, we try and show out and understand everything that's happening so we can like better report it and write it and be better like mini journalists. I think one of the most enjoyable parts is telling the story of Broken Arrow. We're so fortunate to have such a diverse student body. There are so many different things that go around on campus, from football to the school musical. 
that everybody has a place at the school and I like capturing that. Um, I like being able to tell other people's stories and I love seeing the school through other people's eyes. There's a lot of things that go into the yearbook that a lot of people don't know about. Many things like editing and we have writing and we have picture taking and it's just all around. You can find just about anything. Our process really begins at the end of the year prior to the book. So as soon as we finish one book, we start planning for the next year. We come up with a theme and a general idea for the book and then we just build off of that as much as possible. So we pick color schemes and fonts that kind of partner and go hand in hand with the theme and are really gonna kind of encompass the book for that year. I think every day like you walk in and it's a completely new thing. It's There's always something new to do, always like a new design to try. And it's like truly just so fun. It's a new experience every day. If you're thinking about taking your book, I would say do it because it's worth it. All of the work you put into it, you love to do that stuff and you're really gonna enjoy it. I think yearbook's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Getting that yearbook back at the end of the year and seeing all of our hard work pay off is unexplainable. It's better than anything I've ever been involved in. It's just incredible. I loved every single second of it. Most spirited? I mean, go Tigers, I guess. I mean, I'm just like kind of offended that I was voted worst driver. Like, I only totaled like four cars last year and three parking tickets. And he only got towed once, but that was like no big deal. Can you move the camera over a little bit? I don't really know why I got Meat Freak. I'm not that OCD about stuff. So like, I won best hair and honestly, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Best dress? I mean, what can I say? So, I won future president, which is pretty insane, but if I were president, I think I'd make sure that school start times were starting at the earliest 9 a.m. to promote the most well-rested learning environment. Ask Duffington, 2040. From the moment that you know I was given the opportunity to be the head coach, everything had, had changed, everything had shifted in my mind. A lot of it had to do with me knowing you know, the quality of team and, and the number of points that we had coming back and the opportunity that we had to continue the success that, that the program has been having. Just wanted to do everything I could to make sure that we continued and I was and we were able to win a state championship this year because I thought we had a state championship worthy team you know from the beginning was I expecting to qualify 14 for the state tournament we qualified 13 last year we scored 158 point 58 and a half points last year was I expecting to outscore uh, that team last year no I mean that wasn't one of the things that I was that I was striving to do um, all I wanted to do is take the group of guys that we have and try to make that group of guys the best group that we can make them. We all have the same goal as like to win the team state and I think us pushing so hard for our own individual goals of being state champions just like made the team come together and team state championship just come a whole lot easier. I mean going into that first day I, I think we were all ready. Everyone had the same goal in mind. We wanted to win a state, a team state championship. On the going into the second day when it was all locked up Going into the finals, I think that took a lot of pressure off all of the finalists. And that just lets you wrestle your match and takes it off of like, we need to win a state championship too. And it just lets you get like relaxed and wrestle. Emmanuel Skillings has been wrestling. I think he started wrestling in the eighth grade um, with our junior high program. But you're talking about Jackson Cockrell and Bryce Machota who have grown up in the program. We've been together in this program together for 15 years. So you've watched them grow, grow up and, and you've watched them work and you, and you saw the dedication, the commitment that they put into it. And it's just always rewarding 
uh, when you see that pay off. Probably one of the best feelings in the world that I've like ever like felt because I mean getting second the past two years it like made my drive to want to win bigger and I finally did it so now I can graduate feeling like I finally did it and like I'm happy with that. Satisfaction. I felt really satisfied just because four years coming I finally got one my senior year. It was weird in the finals because I really didn't feel any pressure on me like I usually do. So I was kind of scared for myself. I was like, I don't, I don't really feel any pressure right now. I feel a little bit too comfortable and too relaxed. So I just went out there and let it fly. Getting on the podium always feels pretty good. Looking and seeing your teammates cheer for you. So it felt great getting on the podium. Being a leader, like wanting to set an example for other kids. I feel like the younger kids so they can come up and like do that for the next generation and just kind of keep passing that down. It's pretty big because the people below us have watched us like come up together until we're seniors and seen how they watch us like how we work in the room every day and what we accomplish so like if we're not in there working hard then they're not going to be in there working hard so like we have to stay on that every single day. So I mean and, and that's what you want to see and, and that's the example that you take and you try to show it to the kids in the youth program now and the kids in the middle school program now. Is, is this is how you become a championship team, is you get a group of guys together that want to commit and put in the work, and then uh, it gives you a better opportunity. I think what prepares us the most is probably our tough schedule, because some kids, they'll go to the state tournament, and they'll be like undefeated, but it's all Oklahoma kids, so I think our schedule when we go to out-of-state tournaments looking for the best competition really prepares us the most for the state tournament. 2020, obviously, it, it fit into place. Uh, the year was going to be 2020, and everywhere you looked, it was 2020. And I realized we were at 18 state championships as a program. And so it, it was a natural fit to try to relate the 20th state championship with the year. And it, and it, gives, some, it gives the kids something that may stick in their head a little bit, and then we reinforce it over and over again. Take into consideration, we qualify 14 guys for the state term. It's the first time in the history that's what they say people tell us it's the first time in the history of the large school that anybody qualified 14 and so to see all 14 guys go to the state tournament and all 14 guys i believe in my heart you know put it on the line and fought as hard as they could fight for broken arrow and to win that state championship it is really rewarding you know with without accolades or trophies or anything like that anytime you get a group of kids to do that it's pretty satisfying best glow up and honestly I'm not that surprised I mean I'm kind of a big deal I just can't believe I tried to do my TikTok and nobody liked it and it was just so hard and I just the renegade and everything like I don't even know why I'm TikTok famous I'm not even on there that much Wow, most likely to be a millionaire. That's uh, it's disappointing. I thought it'd be billionaire. Oh, one million fifty-one. One million fifty-two. Oh, one million fifty-three. Smartest. So the chances of winning that are like what? One in one thousand one hundred and fifty-two. All right, man. Favorite animal? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Favorite movie? Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Spirit animal. Gazelle. Gazelle. Do you wanna do you wanna go play karate in the garage? Let's do it.
thank you for attending the commencement ceremony for the Broken Arrow High School Class of 2020. Broken Arrow Public Schools strongly encourages guests to maintain a physical distance of six feet from others outside of your family if possible. Face coverings can be worn at your discretion. Please wash your hands often and use the provided hand sanitizer that can be found throughout the stadium. We appreciate your help in keeping everyone safe. Oscar Nips Jr. is a World War II veteran, a lifelong resident of Broken Arrow, and after tonight, a member of the Broken Arrow High School Class of 2020. Well, with all the stuff that you've accomplished in this, in your life, all right, uh, Dr. Dunlop, our superintendent and our school board want to help you accomplish one more thing, okay? We want to invite you to be a member of our 2020 Broken Arrow High School graduation class. What do, you think, what do you think about that, brother? Oscar Nips Jr. joined the Army two years after the day Pearl Harbor was attacked. Whatever come up, that's what I did. did. Oscar was on the ship right next to the Missouri when the Japanese came over to sign the peace treaty on the Missouri. They were locked and loaded, ready to go in to Japan if the Japanese didn't come out and sign that peace treaty. The first wave would be 95% annihilated. So it was good that they uh, came out and signed the peace treaty. And I would have been in that first wave. Well, my father grew up with about four siblings, and they worked hard all of their life. And my dad's come a long way from uh, his childhood worked in construction and taught my brother and I how to make a living. I didn't go to college, worked in construction until I got on with the fire department. We always had plenty to eat, clothes to wear, and a nice warm house. And we had parents that loved us. So you can't ask for anything more than that. Eventually, Oscar came back home to Broken Arrow, went to work, and raised a family. But as the years passed, with everything this Broken Arrow hero had accomplished, including a street named after him, he was still missing one thing that all three of his kids had, a diploma from Broken Arrow High School. Here recently, in the last few years, he's mentioned it that he would have sure liked to finish high school. My father mentioned it to to Dennis and some of the other people that volunteer here. And Brad knew Mr. Alexander and, and they got together and came up with this. It's a great lesson. It's, it's, it's life, right? It's um, sacrifice, it's service, um, and it's perseverance. It wasn't a regret of Mr. Nips. It was a, it was a, you know, a wish that he had, you know, when he got back, after, even maybe after he'd gotten a family started to go back and get his high school diploma. And so we're, we're glad that we could be a part of it and, um, and that our school board and Dr. Dunlop will be able to make this happen. It means a whole, whole lot. I, they, this is one surprise they pulled on me. 
be able to help out a, a, a hero of, of a lot of people in this town, you know, because he's lived here for 91 of his 94 years. Um, couldn't be more happy. I was one of three children growing up in the family, and and all three of us graduated from high school here in Broken Arrow. It's, it's very important. People ask me where I go to school, and I'm proud to tell them Broken Arrow. Oscar Nips, Jr., Broken Arrow High School, Class of 2020. Thank you for your service and your commitment to our country and to the community of Broken Arrow. Class of 2020, it's been an honor being with you guys. I've made so many friends throughout these years. This is a big milestone for us. I just wish you all the best of luck. I cannot believe we've done it. I'd like to give a big, big thank you to the Broken Arrow Band Program specifically and to the whole school in general for all these fantastic years of maturing and learning so much along the way. I've gone here my entire life and I've always felt like I've had a home and just like I felt like I belong somewhere. Now I just want to shout out my AP calculus teacher, Miss Taylor. I've had her for two years now, and both years she not only pushed me to be a better student, but also to be a better person. My best memory from this year is definitely just the opportunities I got in volleyball, being able to play with such an amazing team. And I want to give a shout out to all my volleyball girls and everyone who supported us, especially the Jungle Squad, you guys are awesome. And to my parents and to all the teachers out there, thank you. I just want to say thank you to everyone at Broken Arrow High School for giving me all the opportunities this year, especially to Tiger Theater for giving me so many memories and opportunities. I would like to thank my theater production class for all the wonderful memories and friends it gave me. Thank you for all the teachers who supported me and believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. I just want to give a special shout out to my favorite teacher, Mr. Drake, aka Rick, for being someone who has influenced my life the most and helping me become the person I am today. I'll never forget Tiger Camp, Leadership Retreat, or Gym Night. So thank you to the leadership department and especially Mr. Drake. My favorite memory is football games. And my favorite memory would have to be beating Team Western and Gym Night. We're wishing you guys a happy virtual graduation and we hope to see all of you guys very soon. <laughs> One of my favorite memories was a leadership retreat. It grew me closer to a whole bunch of new people and I got to see a lot of people step out of their comfort zone. I know this is a very challenging time for all of us, but we finally made it, even through a pandemic. I want to thank Mr. Spencer and Mr. Couch for giving me such an amazing opportunity to be a part of Aerovision and film for Good Morning Broken Era. It truly means more than you will ever know. I want to shout out Mr. Rosser, Ms. Lewis, and Mr. Couch. Y'all have never failed to inspire me and you guys have taught me to be the best I can be. I just want to say thank you for everything. And I just wanted to personally say thank you to each and every one of you. Even if we didn't meet personally, just for being a friendly face and making me want to come to school most days. I truly thank you for that. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to Justin Rosser for being the most amazing choir teacher in the world. You made my last three years of vocal music be absolutely unforgettable. You were more than my choir teacher. Some days you were my math teacher, my English teacher, my life coach. I got more out of our relationship than I'd ever thought that I would find in a teacher, and I'm truly lucky to be one of your students. 
I just want to thank Broken Arrow for 12 wonderful years of learning and growing. So I want to thank the band program for uh, the amazing experiences I've had because of it. Of course, I want to thank my parents for believing in me throughout high school. So yeah, congrats 2020. I just want to thank the staff, teachers, and students of Broken Arrow for 13 wonderful years. I'd also like to thank Ashley Spencer and the yearbook program for giving me a place to fit into the high school and encouraging me every step of the way. So one of my favorite memories from this year was definitely seeing the book come together at the end of the year because you get to see everyone's hard work and time be put into the book and you get to see the outcome. And hopefully you guys will see that book soon. Congratulations, seniors. We did it. And I just wanted to shout out all my teachers, coaches, classmates, teammates, friends, just Thank you for everything you've all done for me and pushing me to be a better person. I just want to give a quick shout out to Broken Arrow Baseball. The past four years have been some of the best years of my life. I'm truly grateful for my experience here. Hey Broken Arrow High School, I want to give a shout out to the varsity cheer team and my coaches. You guys are amazing. You've allowed me to grow spiritually, mentally, and physically. I have so many good friends and so many good memories because of this team. You guys have made my senior year the best it could be. My favorite senior year memory, without a doubt, was Mr. B.A. It's, it's probably like the most random and best last minute decision that I've ever made. to our next journey in life, I encourage all of us to reflect on our fun memories we've made over the past few years and cherish them forever. And I know it's something that got cut short, but it's the moments we had before that make it count. I just want to give a huge shout out to the whole senior class because no one knows how hard these past couple of weeks of being a senior have been. But this is not goodbye, it's just see you later. Be it till I die. Most likely to fall asleep in class. I've literally never fell asleep in class. Kaylee, wake up. Is six hour over? Um, it's second hour. Most likely to be an Olympian. Well, I guess they, they are adding baseball back in 2020, so I guess there's a chance. Best smile. Everybody asks me why I'm smiling a lot. I like to smile. Smile's my favorite. I don't really see why they call me mama's boy. My mom just works at the same place that I go to school. I mean, we go to the same stuff together, baseball, softball, wrestling, basketball, football. I don't really see it. Workaholic. I only work like seven days a week. Sorry, I'm late for work. Gotta go. Most dramatic. I mean, I already knew I was going to win that, but I had to walk all the way from D and I have an assignment and it was cold outside. I didn't bring a jacket and I almost slipped and fell. Future online influencer? My screen time on Instagram is only like five hours a day and I'm trying to get to 100k. So if you want, you can follow me on Instagram, Nessa Page. Sorry, I'm late. What, what time is it?
Good evening, and welcome to Broken Arrow Memorial Stadium. I'm Elizabeth Burns, principal of Broken Arrow High School, and on behalf of all of us here at Broken Arrow Public Schools, I'd like to welcome you to the 112th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Tonight is a very special occasion for our students and their families, one that we hope they will cherish for the rest of their lives. Due to concerns caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, these graduates have had to wait a little longer to celebrate their graduation than have our graduating classes of the past. And we know that you are just as excited as we are that this special evening is finally here. This is a formal event as we celebrate close to 1,200 graduates this evening. Each of these is the most important person in the stadium to their families and friends. So we ask that the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names as they are called. But because this is also a night for celebration, we have provided a time at the end of the ceremony for you to make all the noise you can as the members of the class of 2020 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. Thank you for doing your best to help us celebrate them with dignity and class. Once again, welcome. It is a great night to be a Tiger, and we are so glad you are here. Thank you, and have a great evening. I'm Elizabeth Burns, principal of Broken Arrow High School. On behalf of the Board of Education and the faculty of Broken Arrow High School, I'd like to welcome you to the 112th annual Broken Arrow High School commencement ceremony. And now please rise to welcome the graduates of the class of 2020.
continue standing as our colors are presented by members of our Broken Arrow High School JROTC and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Please advance and present the colors. Thank you. Please be seated. Tonight, we wish to honor those of you who have served in our country's armed forces, are currently serving, or have enlisted and will soon be serving. As our medley of service anthems play, please stand when you hear your service branch's song. We salute you for your dedication and service. Oh! 
that this time we will observe a tradition that has been a part of the commencements of our proud school since its early days. Bells play a large role in the life of most schools, signaling the beginning and the end of the school day. The ringing of a bell also notes an occasion of particular significance or importance. As we often do, therefore, we choose to reach into our past and resurrect those symbols and sounds which provided inspiration in the past, helped to make us who we are, and have assisted in bringing us to this evening. The old bell of historic Broken Arrow High School is with us tonight, and we call forth Allison Shaw and Isaiah Keller of the class of 2020 to ring the bell for blessings and good fortune for our senior class. English poet John Donne once asked, for whom doth the bell toll? Tonight, seniors, the answer is clear. It tolls for thee. And now an old tradition. Please rise for the playing of our school's alma mater. You may be seated afterwards. As we go to tomorrow and we leave the past behind, our friendships and memories will stay within our minds for the times we share together and the changes yet to come. Mr. You Thank you. You may be seated. It is only fitting on this special evening that we pause for a moment in memory of those whose untimely passing prevented their physical presence with us here tonight. They are senior class members Rain Bo Gates, Giovanna Alyssa Marufo, and Tyler James Parker. At this time, please join me in a moment of silence as we remember. Thank you. Tonight I have the distinct pleasure of recognizing Dr. Janet Dunlop, Superintendent of Broken Arrow Public Schools. Dr. Dunlop has more than 25 years of experience in the field of education as a teacher, academic principal, college professor, and central office administrator. Before being named as Superintendent at Broken Arrow Public Schools, Dr. Dunlop served as the Deputy Superintendent of Accountability and Assessment at the Oklahoma State Department of Education. Prior to that, she served as the Associate Superintendent for Instruction of Broken Arrow Schools. Among other accomplishments during her tenure in Broken Arrow, Dr. Dunlop has facilitated the district's literacy initiative and led the instructional team in successfully aligning curriculum for grades pre-K through 12. Additionally, Dr. Dunlop was named as the 2016 Oklahoma Assistant Superintendent of the Year by COSA and the Oklahoma Association of School Administrators. Please join me then in welcoming Dr. Janet Dunlop to the platform. Dr. Dunlop. Good evening. 
It's my honor to welcome you to the Broken Arrow High School graduation ceremony in celebration of the class of 2020. First, I would like to introduce our guests joining me on the platform this evening. Please stand as your name is called. I ask that the audience please hold their applause until everyone has been introduced. Mr. Chuck Perry, Associate Superintendent. Ms. Carla Dias, Associate Superintendent. Mr. Steve Allen, Board of Education President. Mr. Steve Majors, Board of Education Vice President. Mr. Jerry Denton, Board of Education Clerk. Mr. John Cockrell, Board of Education Deputy Clerk. Ms. Brandy Roulette, Board of Education Member. Ms. Elizabeth Burns, Broken Arrow High School Principal. Ms. Crystal Barber, Senior Class Principal. Ms. Peyton Dayer, Senior Class President. Ms. Haley Floyd, Student Council President. Ms. Denali Huffman, Representative of the Class of Distinction. And Ms. Lisa Dixon, District Teacher of the Year. And joining us on the floor this evening is Ms. Natalie Enough, Chief Financial Officer, Ms. Lori Kearns, Assistant Superintendent of Personnel, Ms. Michelle Bergwald, Chief Operating Officer, and Mr. Ashley Bowser, Chief Technology Officer. <laughs> Additionally, I'd like to recognize our students who couldn't be here tonight because they're serving our country. To honor their service, we've placed military flags that represent their respective branches in the chairs of the following students. With the Oklahoma, Oklahoma Army National Guard, Kelsey Bess, Mika Half Moon, Michael Maldonado, David Nelson, and Laramie Page. With the United States Army, Allison Hayes, Aiden Parrish, and Grady Timmerman. With the United States Marine Corps, Chase Nichols, William Nichols, Stevie Moore, and Tennessee, Tennessee Holcomb. With the United States Air Force, Lucas Graham and Logan Schatz. And with the United States Navy, Andrew Bearer, Joshua Cluck, Riley McNabb, and Riley Sanders. Please join me in giving these students a round of applause. Well, graduates, we're finally together, live, in person, celebrating your accomplishments on our very own turf. And that's exactly what we plan to do tonight. We're going to celebrate. It has been a whirlwind, hasn't it? Trust me when I say that I have no doubt that this global pandemic has uprooted every idea and dream that you imagined for your final year of high school. This disruption must feel unparalleled and unfair, but there's no class or assignment that will be more valuable to you than this experience. It's given you lessons of disappointment, fear, and tragedy, but also of togetherness, courage, and hope. I'm certain this pandemic has you searching for meaning and whys. To me, it's provided us with a time to slow down, an opportunity to recognize local heroes, a chance to adapt and make history. It's given us one of the greatest gifts of all, an unbelievable story to tell one day. There's a special individual who comes to mind when I think about a local hero with an incredible story to tell. His name is Oscar Nips, Jr a World War II veteran who never received his high school diploma because he dropped everything to serve and protect our country during the biggest war in history. He was a rifleman and a company cook with the 1st Cavalry Division.
Okay, this is awesome. This is totally unplanned, but I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> he was a rifleman and a company cook with the 1st Cavalry Division. He participated in the hard-fought campaign to liberate the Philippines from the Japanese. He was on the front lines for 63 days with no relief and very little food. On September 2nd in 1945, Mr. Nips witnessed history on board a ship in Tokyo Bay as Japanese officials sighted on the dotted line, formally surrendering and ending World War II. During his service, he saved countless lives and made a mark on history forever. Tonight, I'm incredibly humbled and honored to present this local hero with his Broken Arrow High School diploma. Ladies and gentlemen in class of 2020, give him a hero's welcome. So I'm going off script, but yesterday, graduates, we had a chance to talk and we were, we were going through practice and I told them, you know, you waited a month to get this opportunity to graduate in person. He's waited 76 years and it is such an honor to be able to do this for him. Graduates, as he is making his round across the front of um, our home stands, in closing. <laughs> Let's no, we'll celebrate. Again, going off script, graduates, um, Mr. Nip's son, Roland, said this was the th one thing that meant more than anything to Junior, that after his 94 years of life, that the most important thing to him was to be able to get his high school diploma. He, didn't, he wasn't able to do that because he had left for World War II. So I think this is a really important lesson for us about sacrifice. Uh, in closing, I hope you take a page from Mr. Nip's story. It's a great lesson for all of us. It's about sacrifice of self. It's service, it's perseverance. And I know recent circumstances have been less than ideal, but try to remember that every story has a before and an after. So my question to you is, what are you going to do after? Are you gonna enter the military. We have the line on the 50-yard line now of all of our students, and I've seen several graduates stand this evening that are gonna serve our country. Are you going to go to college and earn a degree? Are you going to 
uh, enter the workforce, come back and serve our community. Whatever you choose to do, I hope you do it with bravery and the tenacity that you've shown us over the last few months because you are truly a class to be remembered and we are so incredibly proud of you. So congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Dunlop. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome Senior Class President Peyton Dayer to the platform to address the senior class. Welcome, Ms. Dayer. Good evening, Class of 2020, friends, family, and staff. Before I begin, I would first like to thank my parents for guiding and supporting me through these past 18 years. I would also like to thank my friends and classmates for inspiring me to be the best version of myself every day and supporting me through every experience I have had. As I look back on all my years in Broken Arrow schools, I slowly began to realize that nothing was quite what I expected. I'm sure the same can be said for the entire class of 2020. When we started middle school, we weren't expecting to make bonds that would last a lifetime. We didn't expect the high school to wind up not being as scary as we always thought it would be. We weren't expecting that our teachers would need to walk out in our first year on the high school campus in order to get more money for education in our state. And we certainly didn't expect to finish our senior year on a computer screen without getting to complete the season of the sport in which we had worked so hard or finally getting to show off that dress we dreamed of wearing to senior prom. The class of 2020 has been thrown some curveballs to say the least. However, in spite of all these unforeseen events through our lives at Broken Arrow, every single one of us has made it. We finished that math problem we thought we would never understand. We found just the right conclusion to what seemed to be an essay that would never end. And we got all of those credits on our transcript in a row so that we were finally able to earn that diploma we have been working toward for the last 13 years. As we walk away from the halls of Broken Arrow High School, I want to challenge each and every one of us to live our lives knowing that one thing is certain the unexpected can and will happen. But one thing that our school lives has taught us is that we have the power and ability to overcome every unexpected setback. Building on the lessons that we have learned, we can face every obstacle head on and keep chasing our goals until we have reached them. It is difficult to prepare for the unexpected challenges and joys that will undoubtedly come to us in life but our experiences have uniquely equipped us, the class of 2020, to know that the unexpected can be met and mastered. That may be the most important lesson that we as a class have learned and can take with us into our future. Thank you, Peyton. Our next speaker this evening is Student Council President Haley Floyd, who has some thoughts to share with our graduating seniors. Welcome, Ms. Floyd. Good evening, Class of 2020, friends, family, and faculty. Everyone's journey as a tiger embodies different experiences. But each experience grows the passion that distinguishes Broken Arrow from other school districts. There's an indescribable feeling that being a Broken Arrow Tiger brings. From your first day in BA, you're taught how to love the colors black and gold like they're made for you. Broken Arrow is a place where teachers encourage us daily to think big and to never give up on our dreams. When you become a Tiger, you're never alone. From learning the Tiger Creed to the first day you spend as a student on the high school campus, not having a clue where a building is, to experiencing open campus on a rainy day, 
to watching our Tigers bring home their first state title in football and to getting to be a part of a legacy of triumph. Our Tiger journey comes and goes in the blink of an eye. One of my favorite traditions was being on the sidelines on Friday nights and looking up into the stands to see how many people were brought together by the Tiger family. That's my favorite thing about our community. Whether it's sports, fine arts, or academics, there's always someone there to cheer you on. Being a Tiger means more than wearing the stripes. It's about finding a family that will always be with you, no matter where you go. Broken Arrow isn't just a school district or a town, it's a home. A home that travels in your heart wherever your path leads. No matter how far you wander in your journey, when you come back, you'll be greeted like you never left, and that's what it means to be a Tiger. You gain a sense of tradition that follows you forever. Being a Tiger doesn't simply mean you're present in a school building. Instead, it's a passion so deep that you'll carry it with you always. Once you become a Tiger, that feeling never leaves your heart. You truly are BA till you die. Thank you, Haley. Academics are the central reason that all schools exist. And tonight, we wish to honor our academic program. At this time, we would like to recognize all those who work with our students at Broken Arrow High School. Would our high school department heads and the members of our Broken Arrow High School faculty and staff please stand so that we can honor you for your hard work. Thank you. Our class of distinction represents those students whose grade point averages place them in the top 3% of the senior class. Each year, a representative from that group addresses our graduates at commencement. Please join me then in welcoming to the platform Denali Huffman, representing our 2020 class of distinction. In the sixth grade, a teacher told me that I would never be a successful veterinarian. And for a long time, I believed her. All through middle school, I was shy about what I wanted to do after high school. Not even my closest friends and family knew that I wanted to become a small animal and equine veterinarian. During my junior year, one teacher helped me realize that I could be successful in pursuit of my dreams. Within the first few weeks, I was pushed to learn extra material and be the best that I could be, giving me the confidence to go out and search for a summer internship. I learned so much during my internship that I decided to enroll in the career exploration program. That was the best decision of my life. I've grown so much in the last two years due to the challenges that have been placed before me by many wonderful teachers. I never could have imagined, however, that when we left for spring break, we wouldn't get to walk the school halls with our friends for the last time, watch the sunset on our senior year, or get all dressed up to go to prom. This time of quarantine has been a hard time for everyone, and virtual school sometimes has been a challenge that was not easily conquered, a challenge filled with long hours of trying to learn from teachers who aren't even teaching in front of us, but from the safety of their own homes. I've been amazed, however, at what we as a school and as a community have been able to achieve over these last few months. Life constantly throws us obstacles, and to grow, we must overcome these obstacles. That is probably one of the most important lessons that I've learned in these past few weeks. We are all navigating our way through a very dark chapter in our world's history, and someday, We'll look back on these days and reflect how they brought us all closer together, how they allowed us to appreciate the small moments in life, the moments that we might otherwise have missed. This is a lesson that we, the class of 2020, need to hold on to and remember for the years to come. 
Life is made up of small moments. Collectively, they form the larger memories and lessons we carry with us. So let us resolve to cherish the, both the challenges and the triumphs. Together, they make our lives more rich and meaningful. Thank you, Denali. Dr. Dunlop, members of the Board of Education, faculty, graduates, and honored guests, it is a great privilege to stand before you tonight and add my congratulations to those which you have already received. Tonight's graduation is particularly meaningful to me, not only because you, our class of 2020, have had to wait for it for so long, but also because, as most of you know, after 42 years as a teacher and school administrator, I am retiring. In fact, today is my very last day of work. Tonight is about you your accomplishments in the present, and your ambitions for the future. Young people have a tendency not to listen to us older folks when we rattle on with advice for you. That's only natural. After all, I've worked as an educator longer than some of your parents have been alive. But if you'll indulge me for a few moments, I'd like to share some thoughts with you that seem meaningful to me as all of us move into the next phase of our lives tonight, whatever that phase may be. First, there is this. Life goes by in a hurry, faster than you can begin to imagine. So cherish every minute of it. Don't fall into the trap, as so many people do, of constantly waiting for something, the weekend, the next school or work break, the day you become rich, the moment you meet the perfect mate, sometime in the future that everything in your life will be put right and you'll finally be happy. Don't wait for that set of circumstances to line up in order to find contentment and joy. If you do, you're likely to discover that you have wasted your todays always looking for tomorrow. And the perfect tomorrow is an elusive thing. Instead, find joy in the present moment. Find work to do which is meaningful and makes a difference for good in the lives of others. Find people with whom to share your life and love, who make you want to grow, who challenge you to be the very best possible version of yourself. In doing so, when you reach your tomorrow, you'll be able to look back on days with purpose and pride. Next, there are going to be times of challenge and disappointment in each of your lives. If you haven't experienced this yet, just wait. Those times will come. None of us has any control over the challenges themselves, but we have complete control over how we choose to react to them. When we hit those rough spots where things aren't going our way, we can either become embittered by them or we can use them to grow and become better because of them. Just as athletes exercise their bodies in order to become physically stronger, life's difficulties call on us to use our mental, emotional, and spiritual resources to grow stronger there, too. As we do that, when life hits us hard, we can weather whatever comes 
because we have developed the emotional muscles to do so. And finally, we have a finite amount of time in this life to make a difference. So make the most of it. If you want to know what is really important to you, look at how you spend your time and how you spend your money. Regardless of what you say your priorities are, those two things will always show you the truth. The average person spends a third of his life sleeping, so our waking hours are precious. How will you choose to spend yours? Spend your time on those activities, people, and experiences that will enhance your life and that of others. Commencement literally means beginning. And tonight is an exciting beginning for all of us. The beginning of whatever comes next. I am so thrilled to be a part of that beginning with you tonight as we each embrace whatever is next in our individual lives. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Broken Arrow High School, congratulations once again on reaching this important moment in your life. Thank you. And now the part of our program on which I know you have all been waiting. Dr. Dunlop, members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, faculty, family, and friends. As principal of Broken Arrow High School, it is my honor to present to you the graduating class of 2020. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I hereby certify that each senior before you this evening has completed the requirements established for a high school diploma by the State of Oklahoma and the Broken Arrow Board of Education. We will at this time begin the presentation to our seniors with members of the high school faculty announcing names and Dr. Dunlop, senior grade level principal Crystal Barber, members of the Board of Education, and district officials presenting to our graduates. We ask that members of our audience help us with our ceremony by observing proper decorum during this time. We ask also that items or sounds which could be distracting be held until the end of the commencement ceremony. This will ensure that all students' names are heard as they cross the stage. Our first graduates this evening are our three student speakers. Peyton Riley Dayer, Haley Marie Floyd, Denali Sky Huffman. This evening marks the first for Broken Arrow High School. Slightly over two years ago, under the leadership of our superintendent of schools, Dr. Janet Dunlop, our school district began a partnership program with Tulsa Community College and Northeastern State University called the Dual Credit College Degree Program. Students participating in this rigorous program of study are the first Broken Arrow graduates to simultaneously earn their high school diplomas while completing work on their two-year college associate's degrees. This year, we have nine students who are receiving not only their high school diplomas, 
but also their associate's degrees from Tulsa Community College. Tonight, we celebrate that tremendous achievement with them and wish them continued success as they move forward into the future, if they'll come forward now. These students are Ethan Patrick Braithwaite, Reagan Renee Ferguson, Josiah Anton Fields, Trinity Jean Fulton, Benjamin Fisher Honold, Leshawn Kabunkel Marisigan, Sawyer Glenn Newman, Robin Noel Thornton, and Brianne Marche Williams. Let's give these students a big round of applause. Lacey Crawford. Destiny Drennan. Alexis Browning. Stephanie Padilla. Matthew Bush. Brandon Holford. Donovan Jacob. Michaela Wills. Madison Mel. Shelby Massingale. Malia Trotter. Braden Hansen. Sebastian Jacob. Keelan Bolds. Andrew Hayes. Chris Ohini. Cassie Reinfeld. Tyler Crawford. Adonis Ballard. Samuel Kuti.
Dawson Blackwood. Jeffrey Parker Coyne. Emily Danks. Anna Dean. Eve Jackson. Madison Boose. Sarah Borza. Parker Darnell. Nicholas Embry. Razian Clark. Isaiah Keller. Joshua Brousseau. Allison Shaw. Colby McCoy. Andrew Custer. Jaden Danner. Erica Branson. Gracie Daniels. Kiana Clark. Kiana Clark. Torrance Ingram. Kate Alvarez. Chauncey Forte. Kay Lee. Lexi Isham. Angela Cunningham. Woo! Kaylee Hathorn. <laughs> Kyle Bernius. Zoe Floyd. Colton Cooper. <laughs> Bailey Gilmore. Jason Campbell. Kane Hathaway. Marley Allwell. Garrett Gilroy. Ryan Chapman. Gabriel Grubbs. Jaden Campbell. Shelby Northup. Morgan Davenport. Nicholas Hamilton. Kaylin Drake. Hector Jimenez. Christiana Butler. Jenna Jenkins. Hannah Hoffman. Mason Allen. Hannah Eddings. Nathan Benedidas. Ariel Jagger. Haley Coomer. Tyler Gibbs. Kelly Cruz. Maya Kaylee Harp. Jaron Blaylock. Isaiah Finkley. Caleb Bolin. Elijah Hewitt. Alexander Chase. Levi Holloway. Daniel Dohmeyer. Rihanna Johnson. Derek Dufriend. Marcia Johnson. Simon Cha. Adrian Hart. 
Kaylee Buchanan. Brian Coon. Timothy Cossey. Joey Dawn Gray. Paige Arnold. Randy Herrera. Hunter Bellamy. Delaney Gottes. Ethan Disney. Leslie Gonzalez. Emmanuel DeLeon. Mackenzie Figler. McKaylin Barrington. Alyssa Edelman. Joella Bambuku. Itzel Dolides. Courtney Campbell. Caleb Free. Jacob Abad. Cameron Ellison. Gabriel Cooper. Jaden Hughes. Grace Deerhammer. Carolyn Graham. Sarah Bowman. Joshua Hadley. Emily Boyle. Alexander Garoa. Jacqueline Almeida. Cassidy Green. Catherine Dunbar. Afrin Drago. Macy Bird. Jada Herrera. Alyssa Bauman. Elizabeth Jones. Chloe Chastain. Daniel Hannah. Gildea. Hannah Carden. Kendall Giles. Alexa Collins. Isaac Jones. Drew Geiger. Savannah Borgstead. Colby Hunter Hayes. Julia Barnes. Jace Jones. Kiara Berry. Tyler Gilland. Austin Berg. Gunnar Johnson. Cameron Bauer. Sarah Hewitt. Nate Burke Hartsmeyer. Allison Edwards. Samuel Byer. Lena Ola Funk. Trevor Burke Hartsmeyer. Starley Giles. Kaylee Doherty. Jonathan Elliott. Avery Kennard. Andrew Hill. Alexander Arroyo. Taylor Jones. Eric Ambrose. Dino Klein. April Duff. Samantha Hughes. Faith Baldwin. Bailey Kashmerza. Madison Cameron. Travis Jero Jr. Harley Cathcart. Kendall Fitzgerald. Talissa Biggs. Kylie Hill. Hannah Dewan. Carrie Finley. Serena Barker. Miranda Gomez. Lydia Cottle. Veronica Gregory. Gracie Klaus. Ashlyn Anderson. Paige Cooper. Caitlin Flower. Meg Black. Nyasia Gandy. Macy Blackburn. 
Kobe Freebus. Avery Douglas. Braden Henson. Hope Dewey. Josiah Holiday. Leah Bristow. Tennessee Holcomb. Lauren Bledsaw. Janae Hayman. Elena Cox. Allison Hayes. Jennifer Benedivas. Hallie Grizzle. Brenda Chavez. Jocelyn Gutierrez. Marion Beck. Jonathan Gonzalez. Gage Adams. Crystal Gold. <laughs> Jeremy Dela Cruz. Sebastian Cup. Emily Hinman. Joshua Cluck. William Gregory. Michael Bragg. Alicia Kazmierczak. Indy Chow. Emily Easton. Joseph Dottie. Sydney Burke. Adam Baxter. Jessica Johnson. Trey Armstrong. Madison Berend. Cassidy Bray. Jack Bruza. Ashlyn Fensterbaker. Michael Byrne. Wade Ennis. Annika Bush. Brindley Johns. Victoria Chin. Morgan Hubbard. Isaiah Barber. Cole Herman. Tori Dillard. Braden Gonzalez. Corey Callens Jr. Cadence Jackson. Adon Chapa. Piper King. Miguel Abad. Zlatina Ristova. Natalie Brown. Diamond Jones. Victoria Dina. Kara Jackson. Arlette Cavazos. Libby Iron. Katia Diaz. Jalen C. Hollis. Francisco Aranguren. Justin Hendricks. Damari Calderon. Alyssa Haas. Anmar Colmenares. Bethany Jensen. Kalisha Bowen. Anita Hall. Eric Chavez. Reagan Edwards. Tristan Crittenden. Savannah Evans. Dakota Crittenden. Lauren Fuller. Destiny Crowles. Baron Gaines. Sean Clark. Savannah Hampton. Jesse Davis. 
Tarek and Nail. Asia, Isaac Jennings. Asia Anna Callahan. Nolan Heo. Desmond Caldwell. Kevin Inman. Jasmine Barnes. Parker Hewitt. Sarah Bryson. Jace Harris. Lily Dayhew. Trinity Kellenberger. Akara Arl. Caleb Gamble. Leeks DeGeorge. Nakia May Hansen. Hayden Burton. David Grant. Riley Blackwell. Justice Garcia. Alexander Andazola. Nicolette Valento. Trevor Dobbs. Mitchell Caroy, Christina Bates, Trevor Finley, Jaden Doss, Abigail Grace, Logan Delamonte, Alberto Gutierrez, Theopolis Boykins, Sebastian Gallo. Dawson Dunn, Enrique Fonseca, Jacob Beto, Antonio Guerreras Jr., Madison Brooks, Natalie Gomez Pinzon, Sadie Cook, Nathaniel Hall. Kennedy Bishop, Jonathan Gardner, Corinne Connor, Grant Ely, Hannah Champlain, Jaden Jenkins, Laura Corey, Isaac Huff, Morgan Chapman, Cade Fulmer. Brayden Garrison. Curtis Miguel Colon Estrada. Sergio Juarez. Kieran Anderson. Parker King. Claudia Coronado. Karina Gordillo Bello. Jose Coronado. Sydney Farlow. Nathaniel Ash. Mia Johnson. Joshua Cowing. Elena Jolivet. Christoph Cowden. Emily Horn. Kale Crawford. Sierra Ferrari. Jordan Chang. Sierra Hill. Garrett Bias. Caden Hash. Kaya Downs. Isaiah Hernandez. Blake Bruner. Cody Gian. Joshua Coles. Rachel Gilliam. Carson Deathridge. Jenna Johnson. Corbin James Dobb. Sarah Cook. Sean Carey. Aiden Harrington. Jared Boyd. Jackson Hancock. Caitlin Huff. Caitlin Huff. Cassidy Dooley. Drew Henry. Dalla 
en chemin. Carissa Danielle Earnhardt. Richie Carino. Calera Honeyman. Jonathan Cepeda. Joshua Hyden. Jose Chavez. Gina Herring. Molly Briner. John Hides the Fourth. Luke Klingerman. Connor John. Colin Cosby. Kennedy Four. Caleb Anderson. Lorelai Gian Greco. Brandon Carroll. Takaya Knox. Caitlin Beerig. Caitlin Hilliard. Cheyenne Akins. Joseph Goliberta. Caitlin Brianne Brassfield. Lucas Graham. Kimberly Douglas. Sheldon Gardner. Nicholas Korn. Cameron Johnson. Cameron Clark. Latricia Johnson. Robert Duncan. Stephen Ernest. Luis Aguilar. Grant Hebler. Hayden Carter. Haley Jones. Roy Cortez. Cole Hubert. Brian Asbury. Kendall Ferguson. Loretta Beavers. Zoe Garland. Aubrey Bates. Molly Iant. Nicholas Bremmett. Leah Fry. Joshua Christian. Kaylee Johnson. Anthony Cooper. Anna Farley. Christian Cox. Alexis Johnson. Kyle AC. Kylie Goins. Tyler Dixon. Clayton Carnes. Elijah Colum. Anessa Hubbard. Jacob Bruner. Jusen Gonzalez. Luke Cahill. Aja Jackson. Haley Acido. Erica Bien Espago. Marbella Camarena. Vanessa Graves. Kirsten Bucky. Jordan Hicks. Seven Dixon. Holly Hillenberg. Danae Craven. Macy Finley. Abigail Bodzell. Brooke Hurts. Courtney Castleberry. Keaton Hurt. Michaela Finley. Ashlyn Fu. Brenda Diaz. Andrew Gammon. Carol Amador. Ryland John. Jason Cockrell. Corbin Kelly. Braden Cook. Ian Hoppinen. Bryce Cockrell. Gary Hall.
Alexandria Cockrell. Lauren Jennings. Cody Brands. Gregory Gonzalez. Robbie Armstrong. Jonas Heath. Noah Cha. Kenya Hubbler. Marissa Coleman. Gina Ferrante. Cameron Bruner. Carly Fisher. Ashlyn Buffington. Jaden Fashing. Austin McDaniel. Cameron Hankey. Jillian Mendoza. Alexander Fellows. Adeline Milton. Javon Jones. Mia Patterson. Savannah Knox. Haley Polk Ladnick. Jaden Hansbrough. Kindley Maine. Elena Echeverria. Denny Wynn. Megan Hicks. Esther Petty. William Whitekiller. Elizabeth Medeiros. Lisa Sanders. Trinity Looney. Haven Reynolds. Regina Quintanilla. Augustus Ricks. Caitlin Magnuson. Elena Weisner. Kiera Lentrip. Joseph Stevenson. Olivia Martin Boswell. Braden Watkins. Ty North. Hayden Shelton. Randy North. Abriana Ben Jackson. Aline Pittman. Alex Tao. Victoria Lomelli. Sydney Wallace. Melissa Mata. Autumn Sterling. Michaela Panyatova. Dakota Suffo. Connor Patty. Sarah Spriggs. Jaden Pike. Sarah Wofford. Lindsay Pettit. Jay Styles. E. Wynn. Eric Robertson. Crystalline Powell. Caleb Sticker. Tanaya Matthews. Harrison Thompson. Corinne Porsche. Marissa Sassy. Aaron McCarthy. Mackenzie Williams. Erica McCarty. Noah Walsh. David Nelson. Bryson Spildy. Kathleen Miller. Faith Zachary. Ashley Martin. Kaylee Thompson. Campbell Payne. Caleb Joseph Martin. Ty Rosell. Aubrey Offy. Parker Stith. Addison Matro Pietro. Lainey Sanders. Mason Mann. Kara Sanders. Luke McCumber. Stephanie Stamper. 
Devin Matt. Chandler Sutton. Ann Martin. Anthony Stone. Micaiah Miller. Braden Warren. Abigail Morris. Thomas White. Elizabeth Nunez. Campbell Yeager. Emily Painter. Alyssa Smith. Sarah Meyer. Caden Shaber. Brooks Malone. Ariane Ula. Emily Nesbitt. Katrina Zogger. Noah Pettit. Taylor Wallace. Sydney Medlock. Darian Snyder. Hi, Lynn Wynn. Sabah Raman. Dwin Lou. Sajed Robin. Katie Quaid. Sergian Thomas. Gavin Lambert. Keely Sullivan. David Lucky. Katie Smolin. Joshua Ostrom. Jillian Smith. Daniel Okeo. Hannah Slaughter. Ethan Mackin. Zachary Slavin. Jasmine Pizana. Jerry Record. Jaden Newell. Brevin Terrell. Brianna Little Bear. Fabian Vance. Trinity Murray. DeAndre Taylor. Gabrielle Mussup. Cameron Williams. Natalie Morales. Kiwan Tober. Emma Lawson. Miles Slusher. Pacey Ott. Jaden Tippett. Hayden Martin. Destiny Touch. Chase Lucas. Courtney Prayer. Gage Mason. Kobe Wamigo. Kaden Norcom. Alejandro Trujillo. Mary Powell. Braxton Ripschlinger. Madison McGuire. Alexander Rodriguez. Jada Miller. Kamara Washington. Michael Leon. Jonathan Widling. Alondra Yamas. Samantha Robinson. Hunter LeClaire. Makai Robert. Mackenzie Munson. Taylor Rainey. Gracie Palmer. Chloe Wright. Sawyer Paris. Cody Shepard. Allie Lawrence. Caleb Smith. Mara Martinez. Johnny Vang. Lauren Melton. Brandon Vang. Hector Perez. Michael Daria Shad Johnny. Oscar Fabian Morello. Carson Taylor.
Aubrey O'Rear. Thomas Sherwood. Jonathan Navarro. Derek Wolf. Christian Okorwa. Madison Shipnoy. Austin Paget. Autumn Simpson. Jalen Moss. Yvette Ramirez. Julian Mosley. Keisha Smith. Christopher Motley. Avery Young Wolf. Adrian Perez. Madison Shoemate. Rosadeth Pinazola. Josh Smith. Raul Meza. Jose Solato. Ali Passmore. Isaac Rochado. Jackson Leak. Tim Chung. Thong Fan. Juan Carlos Treviso Ramos. Drew Nelson. Giljon Roselle. Andrew Poindexter. Debbie Lee Vandiver. Hunter Pittman. Rebecca Wesson. Tyler Norsworthy. Mandy Waits. Bryce May. Michaela Slavin. Adam Mozinski, Stephanie Valencia, Jacob Omar, Diana Cifuente, Brady Price, Wickelman Villalobos, Kyla Pumphrey, Heaven Bay, Ashanti Milton, Elizabeth Rissler. Joseph Perryman. Cookie Jean. Chase Majors. Azalea Whitaker. Travis Menal. Elizabeth Zalmin Zing. Riley McNabb. Reese McKenzie Willoughby Crawford. Andrew Police. Aaron Walker. Emily Newby. Ashley Robinson. Taylor Quick. Catherine Slushner, Elizabeth Lake Cooper, Jordan Taberer, Anna Lang, Joshua Schrader, Devin Lewis, Hunter Taylor, Wyatt Limfoot, Britton Wright. Keaton Olu, Joseph Raleigh, Tanner Lewis, Madeline Whitesell, Armando Munoz, Madeline Yancey, Abigail Mutoni, Madeline Bond. Skyler Lewis. Emily Walker. Tyson Meadows. Alexandra Volata. Michael Maldonado. Lauren Walker. Drew Miller. Kaylee Reese. Molly Llewellyn. 
Bryce West. Catherine McGuffin. Miklo Torres. Joseph Natali. Alex Teasley. Brandon Pruitt. Casey Riggs. Hannah Payne. Logan Schatz. Julia Olison. Nicholas Bessie. Lacey Perryman. Tyler Turner. Rohi Matthew. Jacob Sedler. Pierce Plummer. Kaysen Shrum. Ryan Lynn. Violetta Tiscarano. Peyton Messenger. Hunter Van Meer. Bryce Machoda. Dalton Woods. Julian Meza. Houston Schramm. Zachary Lawley. Jordan Rogers. Morgan Micah. Brooke Ryan. Jacob MacArthur. Bo Ragsdale. Veronica Ortiz. Noah Thompson. Diana Pinacho. Andrew Wells. Caleb Ming. Kagan Spears. Jalen Martin. Austin Travis. Robert Parker. Mackenzie Rawson. Connor Lindell. Robert Ring. Elijah Peterson. Miranda Wilson. Joshua Mitchell. Devin Whitaker. Harley McLaughlin. Katrina Shung. Peyton Lee. Alani Walton. Anna Manies. Destiny Watts. Monica Malcolm. Taylor Thompson. Kaylee McGuire. Skylar Sewell. Tyler Lacey. Ani Ramirez. Michael Malone. Raiden Travis Wittenberg. Christopher Moores. Ashlyn Rogers. Brendan Mullins. Haley Ray. Michael Musa. Ashley Jordan Young. Robert Lobsinger. Caitlin Sedlak. Daniel Lee. Janae Spencer. Serenity Monk. Dylan Robinson. Malia Lundy. Stephanie Vargas. Caleb Wyatt Martin. Haley Wagner. Jonathan Parham. Hayden Rice. Matthew Mitchell. Joshua Wallace. Hunter Morris. Madison Winters. Emily Largent. Taylor Roach. Madeline Morris. Aiden Steigerwald. Kaylee Lynch. 
Grant, Jonna Sutton, Alyssa Medina, Destiny Sutherland, Emily Malush, Bryce Ware, James O'Neill, Catherine Tronic, Paige Mason, Iris Velasquez Varela, Siglali Ponce de Leon, Jenny Schmidt, Ashley Porras, Jeremiah Thomas, Destiny Melendez, Salita Wall, Layla Mills, Gabriel Reyes, Jarius Lewis, Emily Turner, William Martin, Allison Ross, Grace Summers, Iris Stout, Lauren Torvik, Avery Thompson, Carrie Sharp, Wesley Sloan, Tyler Sloan, Stephen Van Heel, Adriana Sully, Alyssa Ramos, Jacob Taylor, Katie Welker, Aubrey Wilson, Haley Thompson, Adriana Sills, Madeline Reese, Madison Sonnenberg, Hannah Young, Robert Turner, Jason Sharp, Griffin Strowick, Jeffrey Young, Landon Reisner, Gage Soper, Jacob Shaw, Benjamin Wilkerson, Gavin Romero, Jordan Wood, Adam Yancey, Alexis Wires, Elizabeth Sabad, Giovanni Reyes, Brandon Sikora, Sebastian Navarro, Allison Walsh, Maurice Warrior, Keegan Ryan, Lauren Baca, Corbin Schaefer, Brendan Serignana, Austin Reigns, Macy Vang, Leah Vang, Kimberly Vang, Pali Zong, Nicole Schwermer, Jasmine Woods, Dakari Starks, Bryson Turner, Atticus Williams, Kayla Truel, Peyton Wilson, Michaela Schmidt, Gabriel Replogo, Braden Stanton, 
Natalia Romachik. Sophia Romanishan. Alyssa Schneeber. Meadow Schneeberg. Spears. Tegan Tanner. Alyssa Priest. Jared Tedford. Hunter Bowers. Braden Rose. Once we are finished with the turning of the tassels and the playing of Tiger Pep, seniors, you are dismissed to walk around our campus one last time and attend a brief after graduation celebration here in our indoor facility, which will begin promptly at 11 p.m. That event will end at 12.30 a.m. And now, Ms. Dayer, would you please return to the podium? The Senior Executive Board has decreed that we will meet again in the city of Broken Arrow at a place to be announced in the year 2030. Class of 2020, please stand. Graduates of 2020, turn your tassels! Hold up, V8 in a prime like Optimus It's obvious when I say that no competition 
can the state can relate in a debate with the biggest never quit until we're in the grave. Our name rings loud throughout the jungle. You can hear the sound. Thousands of fans screaming in the crowd. Everybody stands when the suckers come down. Bleeding out black and gold on the daily. The whole team winning, man, it's crazy. On an ultra light beam like it's Jay Z. Grand champs on the band, I'm just saying. Greatness, fair theme song. You can sing along. Never been a bit of dreaming. So we keep on academically amazing. Like a sea strong, how to tell we're creating. Giddy up, guys, won't pause for a minute. Five gold rings, one cherry. Believe that you hear a nine is for the lyrics. So listen, the nation knows we're a spirit. I mean, love. Even billboards got a mission. That's nice. All four ways in a rhyme. Get a spotlight. Play it back twice. Take a new height. You can feel the air rise. And I feel it so alive. And it's me until I die. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the motto. Black and gold life. Just like I won the lotto. Welcome to the jungle. Let us show you how we get down. 